hey guys hi welcome to another video and this is a very special video because in this video i will be discussing some tips and some things that we need to follow while preparing for csi net examinations also this can be followed by all other students who are preparing for particular examinations or any other competitive or entrance examinations so i will be discussing what things that we should keep in mind while preparing for the examination and what should be our main focus and i will also be highlighting some of the things which is very essential for the students who are preparing most importantly for physics so let's start so the first thing that we should focus is our class copy notes or the notes that we are preparing for the examination and in that notes one thing we have to keep in mind that related to each theory and each topic we should solve at least five questions or minimum two questions this is very important next is that we should solve some more problems after doing the theory and solving few questions <laughs> then again what we should do is that again we should uh, get some questions related to those topics and we should solve it and this questions can be from any books textbook or the exercises given in textbooks next thing is that we should uh, attend some mock test and sometimes it is not convenient for all the students to attend the mock test or online test for the, those cases i will say that there are a lot of website which are giving their test series a lot of coaching institutes are providing their test series papers in the website even we can see the papers of different uh, universities or paper of phd entrance examination those will also help out because those are also uh, related to net to physics topic and it will give us a good hold on the subject next is that we should try to solve more and more papers of csr net examinations jas tifr and gate this is a very important thing minimum 5 years papers we should solve for a good hold in the subject next is that we should make a proper formula sheet for our papers for different papers like for classical mechanics we should have one formula sheet for quantum uh, again uh, emt electromagnetic theory statistical thermodynamics mathematical physics for all those so one more thing i would like to say you here is that those formula sheets should contain some mathematical expressions or some mathematical formulas some calculations some points which we are having confusion or we are getting stuck while doing so this thing should be there in our formula sheet next is that we should be consistent means we should have a proper balance between all the subjects because all the subjects are equally important in net physics so we should be consistent and we should study constantly each and every subjects and we should solve the questions and one more thing i would like to say formula should sheet it should be different than the revision notes the revision notes is something different that i will be discussing in some other video but formula should sheet should be like very precise and only the important things and important terms which we are forgetting and we are having confusions that is to be added it should not be like paragraph wise it should be just formula and if you are having any problem just circle it with uh, some other color or red color pay pen or any other thing and just highlight it so these are the things that we need to follow now we will come up to something else some rules of learning so the rules of learning are that the first rule of learning is that we should always focus on understanding the concept of the topic topic okay it's not just solving the problem we have to understand what is the concept of each and every topic because whatever laws whatever derivations whatever topics we will be learning or we will be studying that is to be applied so to apply any law any derivation or any topics okay we must have a proper and clear knowledge of the topic or the law or the derivation because if we will have confusion in that then we cannot apply it so this is a very important thing about physics in case of physics if you are going for the gauss law if you don't understand the physical meaning of the mathematical terms then you cannot apply it in any other things okay for any other problems so this is very important next thing you have to keep in mind that you should have a clear 
knowledge not a confused knowledge i mean to say that it is sometime it happens with a lot of students they can do the sum they can solve the questions but when it comes to advanced problems then what happens with them is that they cannot solve it because they are not having proper concept of the basic topics all the physical meaning is not clear to them so when you solve advanced problems then it is not possible to them to switch into all the concepts so this is very important for all the students and the last and the very important thing is that we should always revise regularly revision is very important for all the student so do not forget to revise always what you study this is very important and do not leave studying just before the examination if you are not feeling like to study it happens a lot of time with the students they don't feel like to study but during those time one thing you need to do is just have a look to what you studied so that's all in this video i think this tips will help you a lot to crack the examinations so do follow this tips thank you so much have a good day